Since the time of creation, our Indigenous people have known the bears to be our teachers. They taught us what foods to eat, where and when to go to gather these foods, and they've even shown us how to give birth to our children and how to raise our children. These bears also gifted us with the ability to have twins. To us, these bears are also healers. When you see our bear dancers, they are offering that healing medicine to the people. Those bears will take any sickness away from you that they can to help look after you in a good way. The grizzly bear would do all of this for us and teach us these things and all they wanted in return was respect and to for us to look after them. Grizzlies do form a huge part of the interior Salish people's way of life and we would consider them as part of our ancestors and our brothers. If we don't have land and if we don't have wildlife then we as people start losing our existence. If we don't have them, we start losing our way of life, right? And that's a reality that we all have to live with here. There's been such huge detriments to their environment that they're having a hard time surviving now. And now is our time to step up and start looking after our bears. So this project entails the work of five different nations and communities to be able to uh, look at the Stein and Hatlatch grizzly bear population unit and recognizing that it's critically endangered, recognizing that we need to work together to be able to support that population and increasing the numbers. From the start of this project, we've done things our way with direction from our ceremonies, stories and our elders. The goal of this project is to move two grizzly bear sows from Shaquatmuk territory into Stadlium and Lakahmuk territories to allow our critically endangered grizzly bear populations to recover and grow. We're trying to do our part, working with our neighboring nations to help, help our grizzly bear. Well, we have uh, so many impacts out there, even on the park boundary of the Stein here. We have logging and blowdown, Van Horlick. Everything that happens out there is going to have an effect on the shuk shuk, the grizzly bear. We really need to protect and preserve so that we carry that spirit, that spirit of the Uchumi, the, the people, and the spirit of the Mechaf, the bear, and the spirit of the Shtuslalem, which is the grizzly, so that we can be one, because that's who we are. You just feel the energy. You feel the power of those prayers, because every song is a form of prayer. And so when they're doing their dances, you know, you just, you just can't help, you know, I feel mesmerized, you know, when I hear and see the bear dance and the bear song. In this traditional land, the bears represent twins in this culture. This project is way bigger than all of us. And I'm just so appreciative that someone is taking care of them. This healing needs to happen. We've been taken and taken and taken, but it's time for our people to start healing so that the ground can heal, so that Mother Earth can continue to give back. We've come together with our neighboring nations, at least five of them, to work in a collaborative effort to um, sustain these populations. So we're going to go back to our agreement that we made with them and turn it around and start looking after the bears now. 
the class. My son told me to make a good My son told me to make a good you can look too much at the mechas. We to all of our helpers, our neighboring communities and nations, Conservation Northwest, Costa Cascades, and the province of BC, Kukstrom Muskalap, we thank you all.